and, and we're heading north on Antioch from I-35 in an old neighborhood dominated by 1950s ranch house homes. Including, there's this home over here. I wish I could stop and get a picture of it. There's this home over here on the left. It's completely a 1950s home. The time it was built, it was probably like the top of style and it just never changed, even the color. And I love it every time I go by it. It's a landmark to me. Although some of these homes over here on the left are probably earlier era, 1940s look like. See that house right there? The pink one? The pink one. Kind of a mid-century modern ranch. I mean, that just screams 1950s. I can add a lot more. I like that one too. And we're coming up to uh, the Antioch Mall area. And um, this neighborhood is, is a complete, uh, it wouldn't take much for um, Hollywood if they wanted to make a movie about the 50s, come along in here and change some of the signage and dress things up a little bit and make it out like this is the 1950s. The Antioch Mall is technically called Antioch Center. Liberty Tax must be open. Some poor devil out here freezing his butt off. And yeah. Just like a statue of Liberty. Oh yeah, it's tax season. It looks like it's a she. Tax season is when you get the... Liberty fools in. People dressed up like a uh, Statue of Liberty or whatever. Or Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam holding signs. Come, let us do your taxes. Something like we ought to try that. Of course, it costs you. Every place you go, you'd have to pay to get your taxes figured. But yeah, you're kind of right about that whole bus thing because uh, there's big, bus, big massive bus stops here at Antioch Mall. Antioch Center, sorry. I keep saying the wrong thing. And some parts of it are alive. The Goodyear is still alive. Mm -hmm. And, um, did they move into the Sears is on the other end? And we'll see it here in a second. The Sears is uh, there. I'll just go this way and take pictures. There's a place behind Goodyear here that used to sell auto electronics. Can't think of the name of it now. And they used to have 24 hour sale. We'd run searchlights there all the time, all night long. Is available red. Is it really available? Or maybe they're trying to sell the space for uh, the planned lifestyle center, which would probably never happen. Yeah. This one here, this mall here, is definitely the oldest looking. It looks like it's had several remodelings. And uh, not recently, though. No, not recently. So it looks pretty bad shape. And it's in pretty bad shape. Although we say that. The parts of it are still open. Yeah, we're in here. We got lights and action. Plenty of good label scars on here too. Yep. They just painted over the C A A Jim. Yeah, you can read it. And dance. The alterations, stamps. Barber shop. As I said, the thing that's interesting about this mall is that there's a neon eats and treats. Is that um, you could enter a lot of the stores from the outside. And the other mall that's like that. Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. This is Ward Parkway. About wood. And Joanne uh, Fabrics and Crafts is um, a place that I see now more in uh, big boxes. Yeah. First impression. There's H&R uh, Block. Yeah. Yeah, even the police should have been in the place. <laughs> <laughs> This 
still look like they've shoveled their sidewalk. Maybe they're still there. I don't know. Well, somebody's still here because they got their sidewalk shoveled all along. Luxury linens. Burlington Coat Factory. This is actually interesting. This speaks to the time when it was open air. The stairway going in. Here to stay. It's open seven days a week. Baby room. Sears Auto Center is still open. Another store that's open. Yes. Baby store, I guess. It Sears claims to be here to stay. I'm here to stay, Sears. The Sears here and the um, the Macy's in. Uh, Metcalf South have a similar design, kind of an over and under, you know, like parking underneath. And, mm -hmm. Although I don't think this is technically parking, I think this is a loading dock, huh? loading dock or pickup and delivery. I don't know, it might be parking. We're slipping around in the snow. No trucks allowed, must be parking. No skateboarding allowed either. Okay. It's one of the things I've always said they ought to think about with some of these places. It's like, turn part of the mall into an indoor skate park. Yeah. But, I think with everything, you know, especially when you got a uh, place that's strapped for cash, they'll say that uh, that won't work because of the liability issue. But Sears is not what Sears used to be. No. And in many ways it is, and that's one of the reasons why it's not in the greatest of shapes. And then you said something about, well, one of the things that killed off Sears was they quit doing their catalog. Yeah. They abandoned their catalog a little too early. Yeah, when they should have been expanding it. But it just seemed to me that that was the original online buying, only it was... Although, I think the developers of Antioch Center own that, too. And there's another strip mall down the street that's I think is technically part of Antioch Center. Yeah, Antioch Center is dead, but you can still come into the Sears. Yeah, there's two or three stores here that I don't know if you can get into the mall, actually, but... Uh... Basically, big box stores that are all tied together. I think this is a, came to a screeching halt right here. Oh, there's a, something down here with the neon lit. I'm thinking Antioch Center is dead. You yeah. can't get inside it. Bishop's Family Dining, medical. AC home medical, hair cutters, Catherine's plus size is down here a hole by itself. They didn't waste any money on cleaning parking lots on a dead mall, did they? No. Merle Darman, perfume, pizzazz. I 
I wonder if their rent have gone down like here. She's out in the middle of no place in her dead mall. There, she's still paying them same rent that she was when it was an actual up and coming mall. Well, that was the <clears throat> the thing, a complaint that I had heard. Some malls actually tried. Music. <laughs> you say shit music. <laughs> Some malls actually tried when the, the the market was no longer bearing what they wanted to charge. They would reduce the rent and things like that, trying to keep stuff in. Metcalf South, I think, did just the opposite. They raised the rent and drove all them out. So I heard. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. And I had actually heard that complaint. Um, I don't know, I'd have to find out where it was. Uh, I read it. The Bourbon Premier. But I had read that, that some of them kept charging a lot. You know what I keep seeing is like this thing is abandoned, they're going to come in here with bulldozers and smash it down. And I keep thinking, you know, there's a lot of valuable stuff in there that a person could use. Parts of fixtures and uh, oh, I know. mirrors and stuff like that. And it all comes down and I'm like, yep. why don't you uh, have you, a big auction and sell all the fixtures, you know? And, and even the air conditioning on the top. when No, the, that comes off. I when, know that for a fact. It's too valuable. It comes off. When Blue Ridge went down, they left her up there. It, uh, yeah, I don't know. It may be because it... Uh, Unless it was just the case up there. But That may have been. Um, copper alone is yeah. just way too valuable. The... Uh, Move to where... Lexington Commons, or Leewood Commons. Leewood. Salon brands. Laser Storm. Well, we have missed our opportunity to go inside Antioch Mall, obviously. Yep. The, uh, Interior or the mall is obviously closed because of the uh, the plastic they put up in the windows. Two or three stores here, but I'm sure you can't get over them into the mall. Hmm. Just to get one snapshot, I'm not so interested in going into Sears. I'm gonna put a waypoint here. Hopefully nobody's coming. We'll be coming to the Antioch Mall. I have no memories of this mall myself because the mm, um, thing I have a memory of is just joint down here that I run searchlights at. Yeah. I I never been in the mall except once when I knew it was dead and 
went inside and took some pictures, but I can't remember if I, uh, where I put those pictures. I might look for them, and I'm sure I have them somewhere. What them all looked like two or three years ago. Just as dead as it is now. <laughs> So, someday maybe we can come back here and look at some, of the, one, huh? some of the neighborhood stuff. Oh. <clears throat> so I think this might be an old, it's either an old high hop or it might be an old Howard Johnson's. It's an high hop there. It's, uh, I don't think it's any longer a Mexican no. restaurant either. That was open the last time I was here, and now it's not. Anyway, 